Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at MetaGPT, which is the multi-agent framework. And it's a groundbreaking approach in the field of artificial intelligence as it aims to harness the power of multiple GPTs all at once. You have different types of generative pre-trained transformers that are being used to create a collaborative software entity, which is capable of handling different types of complex tasks. You're basically employing your own agent that is able to do different things and it has their own specific role. Now the fundamentals idea behind MetaGPT is to assign distinct roles to individual GPTs and enabling them to work there together simultaneously. And this is basically forming a cohesive and intelligent system with this new environment that is created with MetaGPT. Now this is an innovative framework that takes advantage of the strengths and specialities of each GPT, which is effective into turning them into a specific type of agent within that entity or that environment and this is something that i'll showcase today and throughout today's video so we're going to take a look at what you can actually do with meta gpt taking a look about the framework by getting a better understanding of the some of the things that are used to actually create this system uh, we're going to also take a look at some of the costing as well as the limitations and how you can lastly download it onto your local desktop so that you can deploy your own multi-agent framework to help you in different things whether it's to create a project help you code and do many things that are utilized with the apis that are associated with this project so guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on twitter and definitely follow this if you guys haven't at the world of ai i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so definitely give this a follow so you can stay up to date with the news now if you guys haven't subscribed it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so guys i'm going to be posting the latest ai videos here so that you guys are up to date with the latest news as well as the latest hype that is around with different types of projects so it would mean the world to me if you guys can do so check out my previous videos turn on the notification bell like this video and subscribe so with that thought guys let's get right into the video so at the core of MetaGPT lies the concept of task distribution as well as coordination. And basically each GPT agent is assigned to a specific role that is tailored to the strengths and domain expertise. For instance, if you have like one GPT that excels at like natural language understanding, there might be another that might be proficient in image generation or problem solving. And this is by dividing each of these GPT task agents into different types of chunks. And this is where MetaGPT can effectively and efficiently tackle a wide array of different types of complex challenges that would be beyond the capabilities of a single GPT as it utilizes different types of things to help you accomplish the overall goal. Now the collaboration between different GPT agents in MetaGPT is orchestrated through a sophisticated coordination mechanism and this mechanism basically allows agents to communicate, share information, and collectively reason to arrive at solutions. Now the agents can basically be dynamically exchanged through insights and knowledge so it's sharing different types of content as it works through accomplishing the overall task and throughout this it's obviously enhancing the problem solving capabilities also adapting to the dynamic environment that the actual agent is employed within and this communication aspect is vital as it enables MetaGPT to function as a cohesive software entity with each agent contributing to a unique expertise to achieve a collective intelligence so with that thought, let us just take a look at the architecture. So internally, MetaGPT is structured with a team that consists of a product manager, an architect, a project manager, as well as engineers. And basically these roles work together to ensure the smooth functionality of the AI framework and the development process. So let me actually break down each of the roles so you get a better idea. Now the product manager is basically responsible for defining the overall vision and the goals of MetaGPT. And they basically gather requirements from users, stakeholders, as well as the market to understand which functionalities and features the AI market or the AI framework actually uses to meet the needs of the user. Now the architect is the designer of the GPT and it is the high level structure of MetaGPT and it determines how different components and agents within the framework interact with each other, which ensures for a system to be scalable, efficient and robust. Now you have the project managers, which you can see over here. 
They basically play a critical role in planning and executing the development of MetaGPT. They set timelines, allocate resources, as well as ensuring that the project progresses over a defined schedule. And lastly, you have the engineers, which are basically the ones who are responsible for implementing the technical aspects of MetaGPT. And they basically develop the code as well as the algorithms and system that powers the overall framework from overall when you deploy the MetaGPT. Obviously, the boss is the one that gives the requirements and all of this encompasses the environment, which is the software company. And this is just the idea or like that type of way to explain how it is orchestrated and showing you what the actual meaning is of this whole MetaGPT framework. Now let's actually take an example of this. I'm gonna actually deploy my own agent with MetaGPT later on in the video, but I'm just gonna showcase the demo that they have basically made with MetaGPT. And this is the example. So this is the example that they have been able to create. And it shows that you're able to get many different outputs, but one of them is the data and the other one is the API design. So if you scroll in a little bit, you, sorry, I can't actually scroll in, but you can see that you start off with the user that gives the input and then you have the different GPTs that are working to accomplish the prompt. Now, I don't know too much about what this is, but in my case, I'm going to show you something that you can deploy a deep, uh, actual GPT agent towards to complete. For example, it could be to create a task where you want to create a website or maybe you can utilize different GPTs to create a snake game. Uh, this is something that they actually talked about and they were actually able to formulate this game as they said, write a still CLI snake game. And from this, they're able to get an output. And basically after you run the script by running it and installing it, you can get it, the actual project in the workspace directory, which I'll showcase later on in the video. But you get the gist of it. You're able to create and deploy your own agent to do many different things. And you can assign it different roles to accomplish and collaborate for a software entity for different types of complex tasks to achieve. So this is something that is quite unique about this project as it's different from other types of autonomous AI agents. In this case, you have different agents that are working together simultaneously that can be employed to do different types of tasks while working simultaneously to achieve an overall goal. Now, one thing I want to talk about is that MetaGPT has been integrated with GPT-4's API costs and basically offers effective solution for generating examples with analysis and design. So it requires around like 0.2 per example, but making it an affordable option for smaller tasks and individual requirements. So this is quite something that you might want to keep in mind when you're generating certain things, but it does add up to like around $2 and this is for a full-on project. So you might wanna keep that in mind. And this is like the costing that is used to generate the certain like flow of a type of project or to create that type of requirement for a certain type of project. For example, if you're trying to create a game, it's gonna cost you $2 as it's gonna to require to generate certain things that is required to deploy different types of GPT agents to accomplish that overall goal. So it might require a lot more and this is something that you might wanna keep in mind. Now, these are some of the short-term and long-term objectives of this huge project. Obviously, they're working towards MetaGPT to become self-evolving, which basically means that it can accomplish self-tuning fine tuning and optimization as well as utilization and updating itself to become the best type of model and self deployment agent framework. So this is something that is such a huge goal and it could be quite groundbreaking if they're able to accomplish this as you're able to have a system that has its own intelligence to work towards completing different things, which takes us a forward step forward towards accomplishing artificial general intelligence. Now, some of the short-term objectives is to become a multi-agent framework with the highest ROI. You have a support fully automatic implementation of a medium-sized project, which is around 2000 lines of code. And lastly is the implement the most identified task that is reaching version 0.5. Now, these are some of the tasks that they're doing individually to achieve some of the things. And I highly recommend that you check this out because uh, you'll get a better idea of what they're trying to do. Now, Lastly, I just wanted to emphasize one notable advantage of MetaGPT is its scalability. And this is because as the task is starting to get a little bit more complex, like you might see that MetaGPT is going to try to seamlessly allocate more agents to achieve that task. 
or you would even try to recruit different types of agents with specialized skills from external sources to achieve that task. And this is something that is showcasing MetaGPT's intelligence. Now, this dynamic agent recruitment ensures that MetaGPT can adapt to the wide range of applications, as well as the scenarios that are around or revolved around the task, which makes it a highly versatile and powerful system. You're able to have this intelligent ecosystem, which is used to help solve and complete any sort of task that you give it. And this is one thing that I wanted to showcase because it's something that is astonishing. And I've never seen something like this with other types of autonomous AI agents or any type of meta framework that requires different multi-agent frameworks. And this is one of the great things about this project. And I highly recommend that you keep a tab on this because it's something that is quite unique and it shows that there's a lot of people working towards supporting it as well as forking it to support as well as tweak whatever is happening with MetaGPT. Now lastly, let's take a look at how you can install it. So there's actually two ways you can use the traditional way where you just use code to install it or you can just use Docker to help you install it very easily. In my case, I'm going to be using the traditional installation as it's way easy to install. So first things first, you're going to need an API key that is linked to a billing account so that, can, so that you can utilize the different API keys that are associated with OpenAI. Secondly, you'll need Git, which is an application that will be used to help clone a repository onto your CPU. Thirdly, you'll need Python as your editor for code. And lastly, you'll need Visual Studio Code to input the different types of API keys that are associated with this project or the APIs that are associated for certain tasks to be inputted within the framework. So once you have all of these four things ready, you can then go back onto the GitHub link. And what you can do is start by making sure that you have the different things installed. You'll need to have Python installed, the latest version. Anything that is above 3.9 edition, uh, you'll need to have NPM installed. You'll need to also have sudo and NPM installed. So make sure you run these three commands if you guys haven't already. So once you have finished that, you can open up command prompt. Now type, copy this link over here, paste it, click enter, type in CD once it is complete, CD meta GPT to be in the actual meta GPT folder. I wrote GPA, my bad. Meta GPT. And once you're in the folder, you can start working and installing it. So in this case, we're going to install it. So once that is ready, we'll be right back. So it uh, just prompted me to open this up after I installed it. And so one thing I actually forgot to implement is to install the pip installed dash or our requirements. So you can start installing the dependencies of the project. So once that is complete, you can now basically start inputting your API key to do so. So what you can do now is set your API key. Uh, there's a couple commands that you can do so but it's very easy. And after that is done, you just have to click play over here. And in my case, I wasn't able to generate the actual like, game or anything that I tell it to do because I don't have my GPT-4 account accessible to this because I have an input of my API key and I don't even have a GPT-4 subscription. So it's fairly easy once you have that associated by typing the command open underscore API AI or no open AI underscore API underscore key equals your API key. You can set that in your setup or your startup page or Python file. And once you have that done, you can basically just put the command in Python startup and type whatever you want it to actually do or deploy your agents towards. It'll then require you to ensure certain things or certain steps and to make sure that it's installed to make it operational. So once that is complete, you can basically deploy your own AI agent to do many different things and it's fairly easy guys and that's how you can actually deploy your own agent to do certain things and in conclusion it's such a unique way you can to deploy your own multi-agent framework so I hope you got some sort of value out of today's video as this is a significant leap forward in the domain of artificial intelligence as by your, your assigning different types of roles to GPTs and fostering collaboration amongst them to accomplish as well as achieving different types of things with this framework. So huge props to the developers and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you give World of AI a follow if you guys haven't already. Turn on the notification bell, subscribe, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so.
because there's a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, let's see you next time. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll catch you later. Peace out, fellas.